Hey everyone, my name is Stephen. I um as Black Photo. I've had a YouTube channel for a couple of years now, but I actually haven't featured myself on it. I've just been basically like taking photographs and taking videos of the landscape in Northern Ireland where I live. And um, I thought today would be the perfect day to introduce myself. I was I've made a change and I've like um I'm going to introduce you to my new camera. Up till now, I've been shooting with a 7D Mark II and I had a selection of Canon lenses. So I traded in some of those and I bought myself the Sony. So the model that I chose to go for was the Sony A7 III. And this is going to be a wee bit of an unboxing. As you can see, I haven't actually broken the seal yet. So I'm going to be doing that there and opening it up and talking to you about what comes inside. But as well as the 7, uh, the 7.3, A7.3, um, I've also made another couple of transactions today. I bought myself the 24-105 in the Sony range. It's an F4 lens. Bought a mount converter, so it'll let me use a couple of the lenses that I decided to keep that were part of the Canon range. I went for a new memory card, just thought I may as well treat the camera. And I went for a 64 gigabyte, which is a speed of 95 megabytes per second. And then lastly, I went for a second battery. So, Let's open up this bad boy and see what comes inside. I'll stand it with it. So there's some paperwork that says that got manual. It's gonna teach me how to use it. I don't think I'll maybe I'll maybe just watch YouTube videos. And the warranty cards and the register for the product. And you open up the box wider. And you've got the strap with the A7 logo on it. Again, it's probably something that I won't use because I'll use a third party. Strap. So this one comes with a plug and there's actually two varieties in this here. We've got the UK one and we've also got the European plug. Just comes in handy if you're travelling about. We've got so here's the battery that comes with it, and then here's the charger. So the charger will work like from the electric supply onto an adapter for the YouTube or for for the it comes with the supply for the, the socket and then gives you the um, USB and then it also comes with a USB which is kind of a standard USB which I suppose is a great thing because it means I can actually be able to charge up my, my camera with using a uh, portable power bank and then here's the camera
So I'm just putting in the battery now just to check how everything works. I'm turning it on. Don't have a lens on, so it's just showing me a black uh, the uh, menu options. So next, I'm going to open up the Sony Sony lens, and it's a G lens. It's a twenty-four to one hundred five in the f-stop of f4 coming in the bubble wrap as standard just set the lens off to the second so it comes with a wee hood here and it's one which is like a flower petal Given that it goes quite wide, it's going to be a flower petal type of hood. So there's the lens. So the thing that I'm a wee bit anxious about is the way that the sensor in the mirrorless cameras is actually like exposed in the Sony option. Which means that I have to be very careful and keep everything very clean. And that there's the lens onto the mirrorless body this is much smaller and lighter than my previous camera it's going to take a wee bit getting used to because of the fact that I'm not going to have somewhere for my finger to go to the screen articulates meaning that you can change the angle of the way that you're viewing it which comes in handy for some lower shots Set for the program mode. Is it the manual now? There's loads of custom functions. There's four custom buttons on it that I can customize to be whatever I choose. It has the um, it has the shutter and the aperture in different spots from the Canon, so it's going to take me a while to get used to that. So that's my new Sony.